Hello guys, welcome to my kitchen where we prepare different types of delicacies and where we replicate awesome recipes. Guys, this is the way you can make your own homemade, beautiful, delicious, healthy granola. Okay, you know what granola is. It's a healthy cereal for everybody. Okay, so... You can make this at the comfort of your home. Just get your seeds and get your nuts and get your oats and voila, everything is ready. So I here I have hazelnut, I have sesame seed, I have um, almond nuts, I have um, cinnamon powder, I have um, raisins, I have um, sunflower seed, I have pumpkin seed, I have coconut, I have um, you know, so cashew nut, all right? Then the oats, who is the... Of them all. <laughs> so when you're mixing your your granola, you mix your wet product different. If you're putting in vegetable oil or butter, you mix it with the honey first before you start mixing it with your um, dry ingredients. Okay, but because I'm not using vegetable oil, I just wanted to use this honey. So I had to put the honey directly into the oats and then I mixed everything together. Okay. Then after that, I started putting in all the ingredients. This is my system, um, my cinnamon powder. I grated it myself. I bought the stick and then I grated it myself. You can buy all this in the market or in the supermarket. Okay. So after mixing your sesame, um, your cinnamon seed, yeah, cinnamon powder, then you start adding all the other seeds that the first one that entered was sunflower then this pumpkin seed i'll have to mix everything to make sure that everything gets incorporated into this if you have been watching this video to this time that means you're loving it please do not forget to share like and comment thank you so much let us move ahead okay so this almond nut are the cashew nut in wiki kawasha ha kawasha if you don't want them to come in chunks like this okay but this is how i really really love it and this is how the people that buy the parfait love them because granola is mostly used for parfait or you drink it as a good cereal okay it's a very packed good breakfast though for you to start your day it fuels you very 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 well yeah so after mixing it you can um again come now a kusef okay after you mix it <laughs> after mixing it you can um see it your oven and roast it or you can pan fry it so this one i'm pan frying it because i have maybe parchment paper no the other go so i had to pan fry it small 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 so that um you have to reduce okoge to the lowest interest factor <laughs> to the lowest lowest you got a lot so that again wrong so that it will just be roasting small 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 then because you're pan frying it you not have to pack everything inside your pan you do it in badges like i'm doing now after this one yeah i will still put another one and do it i, I think this particular um quantity i hear it three times then you put in your coconut okay then all now your coconut is very wet. You can put it first, your dry to first before you start putting in your um, granola mixture. Okay, so mix, 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 turn, 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 turn. Continue turning so that it doesn't rain. Okay, you like it like this, and it's very, very crispy, very crunchy. You see the one that have yed. You see the color. Now oh yeah, I've brought it down from the okra and putting in the raisins. This is when you now put in your dry and fruits if you want to put in dry fruits and your raisins. So you see the color when it have yed. Let me show you the color when it have not entered the okra when it have not yed. See the one that is not yed. You see the difference in color. All right. So that's the difference in color and texture. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.